Hey guys, so I've noticed a lot of people doing videos lately about Black Mask Studios titles and I wanted to do a video because uh, I love Black Mask. Everything they've done so far is just original and different from anything else that I read and uh, you know I read a lot. Uh, Black Mask is a title founded by uh, Matt Piazzo, Steve Niles, and uh, Brett Gerowitz. Uh, it came out, I think that the first issues that I got were about a year and a half ago. Um, you know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But, um, uh, every title that I've read from them is just been different. And I like the way that they recognize and utilize, uh, writers and artists and colorists and letterers that are different not necessarily in the mainstream. Uh, DC and Marvel, uh, Image included, tend to use the same people over and over again and that just doesn't... I don't know, I get, I get tired of the same thing over and over again. And Black Mask doesn't give me that. Uh, Black Mask has got so many good titles. Uh, like I say, uh, my pull list just says all because so far they have not let me down. One day I'm sure they'll let me down. Uh, you know, I know I bitch a lot about Black Mask and not getting my titles on time or, you know, uh, short printing or whatever. But, you know, that just means that somebody is buying them. And uh, that's awesome. I mean, these guys deserve to uh, sell as many comics as possible. So, the first comic from Black Mask is like, I think they're like their flagship, I guess, is God Killer. And, uh, God Killer is written and the art is done by Matt Piazzo. And, love his art. But the whole time that I was reading this book, I was thinking to myself that I really wish that, uh, that he could just write a book. And have a good artist come on and really do something, you know. And uh, the covers on these God Killers are done by Ben Tipplesmith. The art inside, Matt Piazza's art is not a whole lot different from Ben Tipplesmith's. So it kind of carries over that theme. Uh, but I finally last week got my wish. Which was that Matt Piazza wrote Young Terrorist and had a different artist. Young Terrorist was really, really good. Sold out so fast. I mean, before it even got shipped, it was pretty much sold out. And that's kind of the way that any of these Black Masks are. I mean, if you don't get on them, you know, right off the jump, then you're really going to have issues with that. Uh, this week came out the last issue of We Can Never Go Home. Uh, love the simplicity of the We Can Never Go Home covers. It's been a really, really good story by Matthew Rosenberg, um, who I hope I get to see a lot of stories from in the future. Um, talking to him on Twitter, and he was saying he hadn't really ever done anything that was worth reading before this. And I told him, you know, man, I can't believe that you would just, you know, throw a dart into the freaking dark and uh, hit something. You know, you, you know, this is just, We Can Never Go Home is just a good book. And, uh, I believe that me and Millie and one other person that I saw were reading that book. And, just an awesome book. Um, but along these lines, man, uh, Kurt Pyre, that writes Mayday. Um, Mayday has been a really, really good book. Uh, post-apocalyptic world. I mean, I, I say that constantly. I mean, I love post-apocalyptic worlds. Um, uh, but this Kurt Power story on May Day, really awesome from Black Mask. Uh, I very first got introduced to Kurt Power's, uh, stuff, and he probably did stuff before this, I don't know. But with Pop, uh, Pop came out about a year and a half ago, and I really, really enjoyed Pop. Uh, basically about a, um, like, uh, electronic world and just everything that was going on the the art and everything that was going on in this book 
were amazing. And uh, I remember when I was reading this that I was thinking to myself, I can't wait to read another Kurt Power title. And, uh, oh, where is that big computer screen? Oh, it's not in this one. That sucks. Uh, but I remember when I was reading this that I was thinking, I can't wait to read another Kurt Power title. And it seems like that everybody else was kind of like, I can't wait to read another, uh, you know, Kurt Power title. And uh, so, you know, they gave him Mayday. I mean, these covers on Mayday are just freaking awesome. And uh, he's also doing uh, the fiction. Anybody that's not reading the fiction, you should go check this out. Uh, it's a boom title. Basically like a never-ending story Dungeons and Dragons cartoon thing. Uh, that there's a lot of stuff going on. One of my favorite boom titles that I'm reading right now, now that Hex is canceled. Uh, the fiction is something that I'm really looking forward to every month. And it's only a four issue runs. And this is issue three. So, you know... You should check it out. Pick it up and trade something so that they do me more fiction. I need more fiction. Um, and, uh, you know, there are just a lot of good books. Uh, another Steve Niles book is The Disciples, which is kind of an alien story that's going on, you know. Uh, people off on another planet um, read a lot of sci-fi, and this is a unique story to the people left behind type story that's going on. You've got these people and they're on a planet kind of like the movie uh, Mission to Mars I think it was called that these people land on a planet that there's supposed to be a colony there but when they get there everyone's dead and they don't know what happened and weirdness ensues. Yeah, awesome freaking title. But uh, then I want to talk about my one true love, which is Tamra Bulliman's Color. And she has just started doing Black Mask titles. I love the way that her coloring is done. Her coloring is done in a way that I love. Purples and oranges and just pastels. Uh, really, really light colors. Uh, she's doing Transference from Black Mask right now. And... I love the coloring on this book. Um, I mean, just freaking awesome. Let me find a page that really... I mean, really, that page illustrates what I love about Tambor Bulliman's art. Is just the, the way that things are told in oranges and light blues and pastel -y colors that to me is just freaking awesome I mean I don't know about anybody else but I love freaking pastel colors and I very first got introduced to her art or her coloring because of Wayward and anybody that can tell me that the coloring on Wayward is not some of the best coloring you've ever seen I disagree I think the coloring on Wayward is some of the best coloring at least in the last like four years that I've been reading comics again that the coloring in this is just absolutely freaking amazing and I mean I don't even know what to show because I mean everything that is in this book is amazing and a lot of that I mean granted has to do with Cummings art in Wayward and you know that's what I thought until I read uh, Pisces, which the coloring is also uh, freaking amazing in. I mean, oh man, I wish I could just really show how awesome that coloring is. And then I picked up Penny Dora in the Wishing Box just because she was doing the coloring on this book. And I very rarely pick up a book just based upon, you know, somebody doing uh, the coloring or something like that. But 
I mean, I honestly believe she is every bit, I mean, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I believe she's every bit as good as, like, Jordi Belair of, uh, you know, doing coloring or anything like that. And, uh, yeah. So, in notes, pick up more Black Mask titles, man. Black Mask freaking rocks. Everything that they do is freaking cool. They've always got new titles coming out. They're always fresh and just ideas that you understand but are different from the way that you would normally think about them. Man, go out and check out Chris Pyers, man. Check out the trade on Pop. Pop is so good. It's a four-issue trade. One freaking trade that you got to pick up, man. And check out, check out Pop. See how it is. And, uh, if you're not reading Wayward, then, uh, you know, you should probably just turn the channel. Because I don't understand why anybody would not read that book. Um, you know, I'm not going to say, like, a lot of people, we can't be friends if you don't read Wayward. But, I mean, really, I mean, read Wayward. And, you know, if you got kids, go out and pick up Penny Dora. Uh, this is a great kids book. If you don't have kids, by all means, go out and pick up Pisces or whatever. But, I mean, you know, these are just, you know, great books in my opinion. Uh, Kurt Pyers, Tambor Bullivan, dude, I swear to God, I will pick up anything that she does. You know, I got four issues of Sleepy Hollow. Never read Sleepy Hollow, man, but the coloring on it, amazing. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get off here. And uh, get around and read some more books.